Hi everybody, it's Micheline from Michelin Makes again. I've just done a little, you'll probably see the, no, uh, the similar clothes. I've just been doing the introduction to the Port Money Allen and um, I'm just doing a quickie because this week has been busy. We've been busy. We've had orders in, an order to do, another church order, believe it or not, and his lordship has been rattling and rolling out the, the trophies and I have uh, been making, I've been making the purse, been making my purse, my port money purse which if you've just seen I've uploaded a, a, a video for it. I've also been finishing off my, do you remember I made a cat like that? Well I'd completely forgotten that I've made a cat for my grandson and this this and I, but I haven't given him it for Christmas and this is the cat for my grandson. Also um I can't remember your name but a very, it's probably too late but a lady did message me before Christmas because I was telling her about the super te teddy bear that my mother knitted for my my son when he was a little boy and that he still had it and she messaged me and said do you happen to have the pattern and I said yes I've just got to find it well I couldn't find it and then I kept looking and looking and looking and I couldn't find it and then lo and behold yesterday I was looking at some photographs and up it popped so I've downloaded it it's just little newspaper cut cutting and so I will uh, make it I'll, I'll, what I'll ha do is I'll make it so that you can download it from the section below this video if you see and uh, click the link I'll put a link on you can download it and you can download your own copy of it it's very basic it's not it, at least it looks basic I haven't knitted it myself but it looks like it's quite easy and straightforward so that was that one I did I have cut my fringe but it's still getting in my eyes so apologies um the other thing, I had a few comments about this pattern where, do you remember I said that I thought it was lovely but I said that I've got a size 8 to 16 and I was looking at the flap for the measurements. Talk about, the thing about getting old is you don't always remember things, you don't remember and I should have realised that the measurements there are your body measurements and the measurements here are the, what they're going to what the size is going to turn out like, like when it's finished. So this body measurement was for a 38 bust, 28 waist and a 38 hip. Well, I am nowhere near that. But what a couple of you said, why don't you check the actual uh, finished measurements because they will give you a better guide. And so the 16 is a 43 and a half, a 45 and a 45, which means that I can actually just increase it by about an inch and it will fit me nicely. So because it, with it being a shirt, I'm not going to wear a jumper or anything underneath it. So I reckon that will be fine. So yes, I'm, I'm definitely going to make that pattern. Uh, a couple of you also said you like the cargo pants. And you also made comments that why don't you wear anything you like there because, you know, you will look good. And I would, I would agree with you. The one garment that I don't... Have you ever walked behind somebody uh, in, when you're shopping and you've seen this lovely hair coming down and this lovely body walking along? You know, nice, nice body, nice legs, nice everything. And you think, oh, she looks rather nice in the back, very nicely dressed. And when, when you walk past her, or when she turns around, she's an old wizened old lady. <laughs> well, that's sometimes what I worry about. But the one thing that makes me not want to wear, and there's a saying up north, and I don't know if you have it elsewhere, but you say, oh, God, she looks like mutton dressed as lamb. Well, oh, God, you go, oh, God, have you seen her over there? Have you seen her? <laughs> Don't look now, don't look now, but look at her over there. Look at the way she's dressed. <laughs> so the one garment, I will try everything because I reckon these days anybody, women can, of any age can wear anything, but the one garment I will not make and I won't even try is a mini skirt because I didn't think I suited mini skirts much when I was younger. I always liked longer skirts and longer dresses. I, used to, I was always into the peasant type look where your skirts went right down to the floor. I thought they were lovely. Um, 
so I and and uh, I did wear mini skirts when I was at school, but they, we were quite in those days. We were quite uh, a mini skirt was about two inches above your knee or an inch above your knee, whereas now you have them about six inches above your knee, and that's fine if you have lovely long legs. But when you're five foot one like me and you look like a little, you look short. I just don't think mini skirts suit me. And they'll even more so as I get older. So no, I will I will wear try anything, but I won't try a mini skirt. So um what else do I want to tell you? I bought some fabric and I'll put you a little video up about fabric that I've bought. And um oh Jenny, Jenny <laughs> Jenny Flake has sent me she asked me if I'd like to sit she said would you like me to send you a couple of my old birder patterns just to while away your hours at home and I said oh yeah send me that would be nice because I used to get birder when I was age 30 and I had the time of day to cut out the patterns uh, to trace and cut the patterns out and so she said well I'm not impressed by them so I'll send you them she said I don't know if it's me but she said, I'm not impressed by them and I, when they arrived I didn't look at them straight away because I think I was we were busy doing this or this this order and then um I one hour I was having my lunch one time I got them I got one out and I started reading it and I could see a lovely positive the first thing that hit my eye was and you probably don't know it you may or may not is that everything was if I hold that up everything is is in english so i thought whoa yes because when i used to get birda it was german and in those days i didn't bother even looking at it or trying to translate it i just would look at the pictures and think to myself oh i wish i could read this because i don't know what it's saying and short of in those days obviously we didn't have translation things short of sitting there with a german dictionary and going through every word i felt that it was probably best that i just flicked through it and i liked a lot of the patterns in the birder um in the birder books in those days but um the ones that i the one thing i felt was i wasn't impressed by them i felt that some were frumpy and weren't flattering at all and then what i found was I kept thinking well they're all thin thin girls really thin models and I've probably picked up a one that doesn't really show it well but you know very thin models and I'm thinking well that wouldn't look right on me so I went to another one I probably picked the worst book because there are some nice things in here they, they also do knitting they do a knitted one they do knitting as well which they didn't used to do so you can crochet top I know it's a knitted top oh lord I think that's crocheted it says a knitted top, but I get the impression that that's crocheted. I don't know if you would agree with me. It looks like it's crocheted, but I might be wrong. And um, as I say, the girls who are wearing things, um, the patterns and styles, very thin looking people. But aren't they always? They're always very thin. And I like that, the likes of that. I just thought, oh, I can't imagine a bigger person wearing that. But I might be wrong. You might say, oh, I like that. Anyway, what I did find was I'm looking through it and I'm thinking, well, they're, they're all they're all thin people. And then I found that as you got towards the end, they then showed you the bigger people. But what I would say is the bigger person. Well, that's a bigger person she's supposed to be a bigger person but i wouldn't say she is well i don't know i'm probably going to be criticized for saying this she is a big girl i'll back that off a bit so you can see it's the same same model throughout And yes, she's a big girl, but she's not a plus, what I would call a plus size girl. Well, she, she's, not a, she's not a plump big girl, let's say. I used to have a friend when I was at school called Millie. And she was, sad to say, she's, she's, she died at the age of 30. But she, uh, 
she i when i was little and she was large she was my best friend she was large but she wasn't she was tall and she was what we would we would call big boned she was not fat she wasn't she wasn't overweight she was just big boned and i would be inclined to say that this lady here and is more big boned than she is fat or overweight and um each of these magazines that that jenny gave me each one had a girl not the same girl each time but a girl a young girl who i would have said isn't overweight she isn't plus size she's just a big boned girl and uh, my daughter has a best friend like that she's about six foot three really tall and very overpowering has a heck of a bust on her mind <laughs> very tall very over you know it's like when you see you think by golly but i wouldn't say she's fat i'd say she's big boned and that's that's the only thing that put me off there and then i saw the patterns i saw the pattern sheet and i looked at that and i thought i thought do I really want to be doing this? Do I really want to be making a pattern and tracing it off from there? And I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I used to do it a lot when I was 30. Yes, I did. And I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'll do that again. I can trace it off. But the impetus, the, 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 um, would you say impetus? The impetus to do that now is definitely not in me. So I, think unless it's unless I came across something that was really really worth cutting out here I don't know that I would bother the other thing which I haven't looked at is to see what the pattern sizes are now let me have a quick look at that and I'll tell you if it tells us what the pattern sizes are um pattern sizes go up to a 52 and the 52 is a bust 48, a waist 41, and a hip 50 and a half. So the, if some of the patterns go up to 52, what you call a size 52, Berta size 52, UK size 26. Um, I'm not sure if I can see that on here. Let's have a look. Does it tell you how you identified? I think you identified it by colour, didn't you? I have no idea. It's probably very good. And maybe if I have a little bit more time, I may, you know, if I saw a top off on it, I would probably consider it. But you know what? I'm inclined to think that if you can download a PDF pattern and click it to put your measurements in, I'd far rather do that than trace this off. I'm going to do I was going to do my take my take five last the other week but my take five I actually started doing it as a take five but it went on for so long that in the end I had to split it up so I'm deciding I might try and revive a little bit of a take five and it's going to be shorter things so this is going to be a question where I'm going to ask you to answer and I'm going to give you an ask you to answer in the in the comments below and this is the first what I want to ask you And so, and so Jenny today Jenny did me sent another pre present and the other present that she sent me it dropped through the door I heard the I heard the postman chuck something through the door and I thought oh that sounds like a big package and when I went to the door there was a couple of envelopes from bills for the, for the business and this little little package from Jenny and it was a little flat envelope and um, not very big um probably half the size you know one of those little little envelopes that's about two thirds that size as thick as that and i thought oh what you're sending me now and i opened it up and i burst out laughing i was in fits of laughter when i saw it so then i read a little note and she said there's one for you and one for you for one for his lordship so i then went upstairs with the with them and i filmed this See if you enjoy it. You've got to laugh. Right, I want to put something on you just to see what it's like. Okay? 
So that's yours. Lift your head up so I can see. Right. And this is mine. This is mine. See what yours looks I'll like. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to snog you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I think it's very appropriate this one that you've got. Is it? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is me, <laughs> and this is him. Oh, well, I can't see. Oh, it's come off. Me. Oh, hello. So this is me, and that's him. Oh yeah, zip it. I know. <laughs> Uh, story of my life. Yeah, Brian, yeah. zip it. Zip it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jenny sent these. Did she? Yeah, she's made them on her embroidery machine. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. We love you. <laughs> Only, I can't say that because I'm zipped. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> I've been buying fabric, haven't I? <laughs> Today I have had a lot of parcels come through the post and it was because it was cheap. So, it might look okay because it's a colour that goes with grey hair and this is the first one that I got. This lilac, can you see? It's a, it's a jersey and it's, uh, if I can get it close like that. It's a jersey and it is like a fleecy type of lime jersey so it'll make a nice sweatshirt if i stand back you might be able to see it better stand back and tilt that up it's make a nice sweatshirt it wasn't very expensive there you go so it's going to be like a summery type of sweatshirt that i've got so that's one that i got and i think it was it wasn't very expensive I can't remember how much it was. Who's it from? It doesn't say who it's from, but I shall, I'll tell you. Oh, there's a piece of paper here. It is from Merchant Fabrics in Nottingham. And I got one metre of this and it was eight ninety nine a metre. But I figured because I've got purpley hair, it might look quite nice. And I also got a metre of power mesh. Why did you get power mesh? Well, I'm thinking of making like a, a t shirty type thing that can go under dresses so that I can wear it under tops and under certain things that may have a low neck. And I've also got a flesh coloured one which I showed you a year or two back and I'm going to do the same thing with that. I'll do the flesh coloured one first but uh, this one was a metre and it was 4 49 Then from the same company and I don't know why it came in two separate packets, but the same company, same kind of purple. I think this was the last of the of the batch. One and all, I think that one was the last of the batch. And this was another one they had. This is tie-dye print 
loop sweatshirt and it was 8 99 for the meter not so keen on this one but i was you know you know me i was thinking of dying <laughs> it's cotton and it's um there it's cotton can you get it there it's a cotton it's a cotton it's very pale again a loop back one with the loop back on there and it might look okay for the summer i figured i could make a sweatshirt out of it for the summer so that was that one this is what happens when you've got nothing else to do and you're browsing the you're browsing the internet so i've got those two and the power net by the way pashima pash pashmina pashmina scarf cut in half button buttoned at two sides i've used different colored buttons where have i put it where, there buttons i've just used odd buttons and a half and my just a little brooch that i got an ebay brooch that i bought a long time ago and it just doesn't half smarten up a jumper so that was um i have done a pat a, a vlog about this so i'll put the little card up there so you can see it now then mr w hello hello what a lot of trophies we've got today well they're done they're all done um, and we've got done. we've done 100 medals for somebody that we've got to pack up they're done they're, they're done are they're, these done yeah those are done those are done those are those are to be packed those are to be done and packed uh, the ones on the right to be done these are to be done yeah. and what about these those are done they're, those are done so they've got to be packed the only problem is well, You've got no filler left. No. <laughs> so we've got to wait for the filler to come. No, and I've decided that what's what's packed can go today. Right, so you're going to send what you've got. Yeah, so we can have a bit more room again. Yeah. Excellent. And there's still this lot here, isn't there? And just taking delivery of some more. <laughs> and we've got parcels around here. And we have parcels here. And there's another delivery to come and this is an order that just came in last week which his lordship said we have to do <laughs> the problem is last night we were plunged into lockdown and what might that mean can't go nowhere well apart from the fact that we can't go nowhere silly bugger <laughs> 